What's going on guys, Justin Fuller here. Today I am at Colleen Volkswagen and we're getting these guys set up on the lot management tool. This will allow them to track their keys and their cars as they float anywhere around the lot. And they happen to live on a big lot because as you can see, there's a Ford dealership, there's a Volkswagen dealership, there's a Hyundai dealership and a pre-owned store. So they're sitting on 41 acres. So these guys can track keys and cars all over the place. So let's hop on in and show you what it looks like. All right guys, so to allow Colleen Volkswagen to see where their keys and their cars are as they float around the lot, the first thing we gotta do is set up a network. And the network consists of solar powered gateways on the exterior of the building. So typically we'll run these up light poles, kind of like the one you could see actually right behind me here. They're not invasive, they don't require power lines or anything like that. They hold two months worth of charge. And this is what's gonna allow that network to talk to the outside of the building. Now inside of the building, we're gonna use these interior gateways, about the size of half a deck of cars. So typically they're gonna plug these into wall plugs and we're gonna hide them and tuck them away so that you can see those keys or the, even those cars that are living on the showroom that are, you know, fall into desks, that fall behind desks, that fall into the key machine. They don't quite get plugged in. All those places where keys tend to just kind of disappear. All right, guys, so let's talk about all the different hardware options you have as far as tracking your keys, tracking your cars, and then tracking all those other items that might live outside of that realm, things like golf carts. Uh, you know, maybe I want to track uh, dealer plates. Maybe I want to track golf cart keys. Maybe I want to track jump boxes, right? Things like that. So first off, what we're going to use for keys is a very simple setup, right? So I've got one right here that I can show you about the size of a quarter, right? Triangle tag here, it's got a QR code on the back so you can read it and scan it to be able to connect it up to a stock number to show you kind of what's going on here. On what we've done is they use key track systems here, so I've connected one up to this. So when they sell the car, they can cut the keys off and then connect up the next key to this, reprogram it and use it over and over and over and over again, right? So know that you can use these multiple times, right? Now for the cars, there's a couple different options. Now the typical standard setup is gonna be one of these right here. You just simply throw this around the rear view mirror and this is gonna track the vehicle and on the back, same thing, QR code, so I can connect up this specific vehicle, this stock number, uh, to this tag. Now, I offer this in two different options. I offer the standard option of, hey, I just want to be able to locate the vehicle. I also offer it with an accelerometer. So in the middle of the night, if it moves because someone is trying to steal the wheels off it, steal the, uh, maybe the uh, catalytic converter or steal the whole car, uh, I can get a push notification. I can, you know, get those, those notifications to know if someone's trying to steal something, right? So this is fantastic. You know, if you want to put it on all your cars, great. Or if you have cars that block certain driveways, good thing to have, right? You can mix and match these. Uh, so two different options as far as this tag. Now, I also have an OBD2 device, right? That you can connect up and this will allow you to track the vehicle on and off the campus. What I do like about this also is that uh, even if I pull this out and throw it in the floorboard, it'll track for two more weeks. So it offers some longevity, even being pulled out if that's a concern for you. Um, you know, a lot of guys will, you know, mix and match these and use some of these for maybe courtesy vehicles, or I have one dealership that actually uses them just for test drives, right? So their guys just plug in their own device, go ahead, and that way when they're on the test drive, they can see where the vehicle is. It just kind of keeps everyone safe and gives them better knowledge on the vehicle. And then of course you can pull all those details from it as far as, you know, uh, speeds and different things, tire pressure monitoring, uh, you know, all, all that additional information. Now, the guys here at Colleen Volkswagen are using uh, Apex, right? So this is an F&I sell-through product that allows them to track the vehicle on the campus and then sell that product to their customer base after the fact. Now, because they are using that, we happen to integrate with Apex, which means when you pull up the desktop dashboard or you pull up our phone app, you're gonna be able to see where the key is and the car is all in one place. So when we hop over to the phone app next, I'll show you what that looks like uh, so you can understand using their tool versus using all the plethora of things that I just went over, uh, all of these are gonna work in the same area. So let's hop on into that. All right, guys, so here we are, and I have the phone app pulled up uh, for the Volkswagen store, and I want to walk you through this and show you kind of what it looks like, right? So what I'm doing right now is I'm mirroring my iPhone onto the screen. Uh, so this is what you can see. Now, there's two big things that I want to go over with you. The first being, how do I run a search, right? Show me how to find a key. Show me how to find a car. Very simple. 85% of your team is probably going to be using the app because chances are they're walking around looking for keys and cars, whether they're sales, they have to be service, make ready detail, uh, PDI, anybody who has to go find and locate these cars and, and do something to them, right? Tent guys, anybody who's like a third party vendor. Now, the second part to that I'm going to show you is how do I connect a specific key tag to a car, right? How do I do that? How do I connect up tags? If I wanted to do separate car tags, how do I connect that up? Uh, to a specific stock number. So we're gonna go over those two basic things here on the app. All right, so this first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this find a key and find a car button right there, right? And we're gonna run a search. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now on here, it's gonna pull up your inventory feed and show you everything you've got. So perfect example is this 21 Audi A8 that you see. You'll see that only one key is tagged. If you look down at this 2019 at the bottom of the screen, you can see that two keys have been tagged, right? So they're tracking the spare and the main key, right? So this way you can quickly put it together and figure out 
hey, what's currently being tracked on this vehicle, if anything, right? So when you're initially getting going, you're gonna see some cars that haven't been tagged yet. And that's just a matter of, they just haven't got there yet, right? They haven't got everything that's, you know, come in and kind of got the process figured out. So I'm gonna scroll on down here uh, to this 2017 Buick Encore, right? So right in the middle of the screen, you can see that the car uh, is being tracked and the key is being tracked. So perfect example here. So we're gonna click into that. The first thing it's gonna show me is where the car is at. And not only is it gonna show me on a map that I can zoom in and out of, right? So if I wanna zoom way out and um, kind of look, and when I'm on campus, it'll show me as a blue dot where I'm living, so in relation to where this car is. Not only is it showing me on the map, but it's telling me location, overflow. So when we hop over to the desktop dashboard, I'll show you how we've geofenced off all the different areas and we've named them based on their naming convention. So they said, hey, this is one of our overflow lots. This is what we call it. This is where it is so that we can geofence it off and then we can name it so that when they look at this, one, they can see on the map, but two, they can just look at it briefly and go, oh, okay, it's at the overflow lot. And then I can see where in the overflow lot. So when I zoom in here on it, I can see exactly where it's at, right? Now, if I hit the next button right over here, it's going to jump over to the key. So boom, jumps over to key, same thing. It's telling me it's in the service max building, which is their service center in the key track as we speak. So as a sales guy, somebody walked in the front door and wanted to see this car or this car and this key, right? I know that the key is over in my service building, right? Meaning that chances are the car, you know, uh, maybe is going through recon or something. Uh, so I know where the key is at and I know it's in the key track over there and I know where the car is at, the car's in the overflow box. So boom, immediately versus me wandering the lot. And for these guys, they're sitting on 41 acres because they share a realm with a few other dealerships, right? That are all living in the Keating uh, Auto Group. That would be a really tough find, right? You're walking around hitting the alarm, hoping that the battery is good, right? Because if the battery's not charged, you're, you're trying to set off an alarm that's dead, right? And then, and then you're blindly searching for a car. That's if you can find the key, which keys over in the service center, right? So this makes it very, very efficient for these guys to know, hey, where's the key at, right? Boom, jump back over, where's the car at? Now, let's say I got over to the service center and it says it's in the building, but it's not in the key track, right? I know that it's in one of the service bays, but I don't know where. Well, I could get in this general vicinity of the building because we have all these gateways set up, the interior gateways, right? Set up inside of this building. Uh, so that they can help determine where it's at. So once I get close to this, I can hit this find a tag button. Now, if I hit that, boom, it's gonna pop up. Now, obviously I'm not there right now, but what you'll see is right here in the middle where it's thinking a white ball will appear. It's gonna take about a minute to load up. And then as I get closer to it, that white ball will move closer to the dark area, which is immediate or further away if I'm getting further from it, you know, right? So a little bit of a hot and cold game. So when I'm on the map, I get over here. And then once I get close to it, I go, okay, let's hit that up and figure out where it's at. Did it fall behind something? Is it in something, right? Because if, if the, you know, if we don't know who checked it out from the key track, right? Or they say they don't know where it's at, this is gonna help us locate one, where it is. And then two, walk us right up to that key. If it's been, you know, shoved in a desk, fallen behind something, left in a car, whatever it may be. Now, the secondary part to this that I mentioned is how do I connect up, uh, you know, a key tag, right, specifically uh, to a car. And I'll show you how to connect a car tag, even though these guys uh, are, are going to be using, um, you know, they have their own system they have set up through Apex. So they're not going to necessarily need this portion, but I'll show you how to do it just because same process. So all I would do is go into the True Tag Management button here, second one down, click on that. From here, I would want to search out my, my car, right? So type in a stock number, type in a VIN, whatever it happens to be. So for the sake of this, let's pretend it's this 21 Audi A8 that's sitting up top. They've already got a key connected to it, but no big deal. I'll show you how to connect up a key, which you see this blue key button and a car tag. If you were doing cars, the car button, right? So it's very simple. All I got to do is touch that key button. Now on the back of the keys, uh, the key tags I mentioned earlier, there is a QR code and there are some numbers. You could either type in those numbers or you could just hit the QR reader, which I would recommend. Hit that QR reader, boom, scan your, 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 your tag, and then you're good to go, right? Boom. So now we're good to go. I've connected it up. Right, so I could walk out to a truck and do this as cars come in. I could connect up the keys and the cars, just put two uh, handfuls in my pockets and just go as I go down the line. So very easy process to do, right? So that would be how I would connect up the key tag. Car tag, same thing, on the back of the car tag, I've got a QR code and some numbers. So if I wanted to do this from a desktop, I could type in the numbers, I just wouldn't have the ability to use that QR reader. Um, whereas if I'm using a phone, uh, which most of my guys are using phones anyways, uh, I can use the QR reader, right? So same thing, I'm gonna hit that car button, and then all I would do is hit that QR scanner, boom, scan my code, bam, connect it up, bam, let's move along with our day, right? So 
in a matter of 10 seconds, I can connect up a key tag. I could do two key tags, right? If I want to do the main and I want to do the spare, I could get everything done in a matter of seconds. Uh, and it's portable, right? I could do it anywhere. Um, you know what I mean? As cars come off a truck, maybe we bought them at auction, I could do them right there. Um, you know, as new cars come in from the manufacturer plant off trucks, I can do them right there. Um, if this is a trade that's about to head through recon, I can do it out of the trade building and just get these all connected up right then. And then we can send them through recon so at any point I can see where that car is at and where that key is at. Which, if you don't know anything about recon, I offer recon software as well that uses all of this uh, location-based services uh, to automatically check cars in and out of each step. Or you can manually do it if you prefer. Um, so I can use this some cool ways to start tracking and understanding how long uh, cars are spinning in each portion of, of a step, right? So if I want to know how long it was in PDI, then how long it was in detail, then how long it was in the photo booth, so forth and so on, whatever your process may be, know that I have software for that. So I'll, I'll, I'll throw a link up and at the end, uh, there'll be a link that you can click on if you want to learn a little bit more about that. So that's kind of the two basics to, hey, one, how do I run a search? Boom, we already saw that, right? Just click on find a key, find a car. And then two, how do I connect up tags? How hard is it going to be? Can my guys do this? Is it going to be hard to do? So let's hop over to the desktop dashboard and I will go over that and show you some really cool stuff as far as how I can I use this in opening and closing duties. Hey, I want to see every key all at once. I want to make sure the key makes it back into the building. Or, you know, hey, I want to look at last settings, but can I set up notifications where if we haven't seen a car in a while, it'll notify us, just things like that. Uh, so let's hop over to that next and we'll go over a couple cool things. All right, guys, so here we are on the desktop dashboard and I just want to quickly show you a couple different things of kind of cool tricks and different people that can use this tool. So I'm not gonna go over the entire thing, but I want you to understand how it works. So what you're seeing right here on the map is what I talked about earlier, all those geofenced off areas that I mentioned when we were on the phone app uh, that we set up when we set up that network. So you're seeing all these different areas that are boxed off. Uh, I think we specifically talked about the overflow lot as far as where one of those vehicles was living and the key was living inside of the service max building. So this is where you can see kind of now and understand what this really looks like because the Volkswagen store is over here. I've got a Hyundai and Ford store, a used car store, and then this massive service center, right? So this is that 41 acre lot that I talked about uh, when we were on here. So now you can get a little bit visual interpretation and you're seeing every single vehicle that's living on the campus right now. So not only can I see every, every vehicle, but I can flip this over to keys and then start to see every single key that lives on this as well. So when it comes to like a closing duty for a sales manager, what if you could pull this up at the end of the night and look at every single key you have and make sure that keys like these three make it back inside of a building, right? That becomes powerful and go, boom, I have these three that are living out there that did not make it back inside the building. I need somebody to go out there. I can send guys with those stock numbers and be like, hey, go find these keys. I need you to go grab them, right? So quick way your sales managers can manage every single key as far as an asset goes at the end of the night. Now, I wanna, I wanna talk about how you can apply this kind of a different way, right? So I'm gonna jump back over to vehicles because you saw me, I don't know if you saw, I was flipping through the assets here, moving from keys to cars. Now, when it comes to that, I wanna be able to see cars that have, have left the lot uh, and haven't you know, uh, come back onto the lot in, in a certain amount of time. Now, I've got all these different boxes across the top here that are giving me all kinds of information as far as uh, you know, you know, being a sales manager, whoever's gonna be looking at this. So I'm gonna flip back to vehicles here and I'm gonna open these boxes up, right? So last signings inventory, right? I can come over here and go, okay, click on this button right here and show me the vehicles that haven't been seen in the last 72 hours. These seven vehicles have left the lot, have not been seen in 72 hours, right? Maybe I want that threshold to be less, right? I wanna you know, pick something shorter, right? But for the sake of this, I'm gonna do this just because it's a smaller list. So as a sales manager, I can look at this and go, okay, well, what's going on with these? You know, I can look at these stock numbers. You know, do we loan them out? Do we have loaner paperwork on them? Uh, do we work a deal on them? Do we loan them out overnight? Um, you know, did it get sent off for a recall? Um, you know, did somebody, you know, a, a, a member of the, 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 uh, the, you know, my sales team borrow a truck. Maybe they needed to move something, you know, whatever it may be, right? I can put this store together real fast. Not only can I get this, but Hey, what if I want to get my, uh, my opening duty manager, uh, alerts, right? Can he get an email of this? So that each morning he knows and can kind of check on it. Well, absolutely he can go to the back office, go to users counts, click on Caleb. Let's assume it's him. Go to missing vehicle alerts, click that tab. Boom. Now every morning at 7am, Caleb gets this email right, of whatever I want. And I can set that threshold to whatever amount of time I, I want so I can customize that for you. Um, so as far as opening and closing duties for a sales manager, fantastic tool. Uh, easy ways to manage all the keys at the end of a night uh, and all the cars in the morning to make sure nothing's been potentially stolen. So uh, over here, I've got a, a search bar that you can run multiple searches on. And across the top up here, I've got some tiles. These tiles are gonna show, you know, pre-owned inventory as far as what's tagged versus what isn't tagged on any of this, right? The 391, we already know is tagged. I'm more interested in the 195 that haven't been tagged. I can click on that. It presents me a list over here. I'm gonna turn my map off for a second. Now I can see every single pre-owned 
a uh, key that hasn't been tagged, right? That, you know, so a key being it's connected to a stock number. Uh, not only can I see this, but I can I can sort these, right? So I'm going to come over to the far end of the screen. I don't know if you can catch that, but I can sort it out and go. All my oldest vehicles are up up top now. So now I can look at this and go, okay, why haven't we done these old age units? You know, the cars that are two and three days old, I don't care about. But the, the stuff that's 50 days old, 100 days old, why haven't we tagged this? At that point, I can start looking through. It goes, all right, well, there's there a note in here that's connected to it. Do I need to jump in the vehicle? You know, jump into here and look at the activities and see if there's some reason that we've we've notated. You know, what's going on with this? It's it's got photos. You know, we know the car exists, but why doesn't you know why hasn't it been tagged? Um, so just ways that I can start managing this process very efficiently, right? So one other way I want to show you how you can kind of use the same process is up here. Uh, we just talked about, you know, looking at what's tagged versus what isn't, right? So whether it be cars, which is the first two boxes, or keys, which is these second two boxes. But I'm more interested in things that will help out my staff to be more efficient. So photo status right here. This is going to apply to anybody who's, you know, whether it's in-house or outsourced photos. Well, 452 of the 1,199 vehicles that exist in this massive lot have photos. But I'm more interested in the ones that don't. Right, so I can click on that remaining balance, 747, boom, it gives me this right here. How more efficient can I make my guy than knowing that my my uh, my photo booth guy now can click into a car and, and one, he has a list of everything he needs to go get pictures of, but two, he knows that, hey, the key right now is in the service max building, it's actually in the photo booth. Uh, so that's perfect, right? Perfect example, it's in the photo booth, but I know where the car is at as well, right? Boom, I click on the car, car's sitting right out there, key's right there, I should be getting these pictures taken faster, right? So I can make this person more efficient because one, they have an entire list. Two, they should be able to find the keys and find the cars, whether they're using the phone app or the, then the map, right? Not only that, but if I wanna manage this person, I can turn this list, uh, or turn the map off again. I can go over here, sort by days. I wanna see all of my oldest age units that don't have photos. And now I can start asking you know, my person, go, hey, you know, I've got cars that are over 50 days old or over 100 days or whatever it may be. Why don't these have photos? I can make sure that they're staying on top of things and doing their job. And if they are running into an issue, I wanna know. And this will help me determine that quicker. Right, so ways that I can manage this as far as managing my third-party vendors. Uh, we talked about it earlier as far as anything that I wanted to track as far as a key uh, car, and then anything that lives outside of that, like jump boxes, golf carts, gas cards, anything like that. So on here, that's what manual entry says. So I can click into that. Boom, gives me this list. Perfect example is gas card. I click on this. It shows me uh, gas card. It's in the service max building in the photo booth. But so it happens to be right there. So I know that the gas card is with this. So chances are the guy was taking photos, noticed it needed gas, and he went to go gas it up. Right, so now I can manage that access to make sure that that gas card doesn't get left over here in the service max building, but makes it back into the key machine because that happens to be where they keep this, so they know who checked it out and when. So I can manage all these staff, all of these assets, not only keys and cars, but I can also manage all these additional things that I may want to track, whether it be dealer plates or whatever it may be. Um, as far as next one, days in inventory. This is gonna apply for your inventory managers and your sales managers. What if I could get not only a list of my 90 plus day old units, but what if I could also turn on the pins and see where every single one of them sits? That becomes powerful. You, you wanna know why this car out here isn't selling? I'll tell you why, because it's parked over here in Nowheresville and it's not getting any eyes on it, right? As a, as a sales manager, if I wanna get rid of old age units, whether it's used or new, I wanna be able to see where every single one of them is because maybe I wanna line them all up in front and put hang tags on them and balloons and you know whatever whatever my dealership likes to do, right? I can see where all these are, move them somewhere, get them nice and tight, lined up so I can sell them. I need them to be some more visual that has high traffic so I can get rid of these cars. So cool tool that you can use as far as looking at old age units on your lot, whether you be an inventory manager or a sales manager. The other side of that is I can run powerful searches on this tool. So we saw earlier I could run searches for like a stock number to VIN, that's cool, but what if I could search out multiple vehicles at once, right? I wanna come down here and go, you know, let me grab every, I don't know, Hyundai Santa Fe, right? Let's just let's just assume that there's an incentive running on the Santa Fe, and I wanna get uh, all those cars sold because I can make my higher grosses off them. Well, boom, I just pulled up every Honda Santa, or excuse me, Hyundai Santa Fe that I have. Now I can make sure, one, all these outliers, if I'm the inventory manager, get put over here with the rest of them, but two, as a sales manager, I want these all lined up with hang tags in them that, you know, that says, you know, 5,000 off or whatever it may be, or ask for pricing because I want to sell these. I want to get these sold because I can make more money off them, make the store more money, and in turn, probably make myself more money because chances are I'm making a percentage of that, right? So this becomes a very powerful tool that I can see where all those vehicles are, get them moved somewhere, uh, and grouped well, one, as an inventory manager, and two, if I'm running an incentive, I can start to move these around to make sure I'm selling them, right? I wanna push these in the next month when there's a new incentive, maybe I move some different cars around, right? So different ways I can apply this tool, right? So just different ways your sales manager can use this, your inventory manager can use this. You can start to manage those third-party vendors like photo status guys uh, and manage those additional assets that live outside of the norm 
of, you know, things like a gas card, things like a, you know, you know, a, a jump box, a golf cart, a golf cart key, all of those things. That's kind of a quick, dirty rundown to this. Uh, I would love to go over this more with you. Uh, we can always set up a demo and we can talk about all the different ways you can apply this tool and the different things that you can do uh, to take advantage of it, uh, whether you be a sales manager, whether you be an inventory manager, uh, whether you be doing lot audits, right? If I want to see every single vehicle on the campus, well, boom, I can I can get a list of everything that's tagged, know that it's on the campus because it has a tracker in it and start to make that process faster as well, right? So just different ways that I can use this tool to manage people, manage my assets, uh, help out with the opening and closing duties, make sure we're getting photos taken. You know, there's just so much that you can apply this tool to. All right guys, so that's a quick rundown of the Volkswagen of Clean Store as far as tracking keys and cars through Lot Management 360. Now, if you're interested in some of the other products that I might've mentioned at the beginning of this uh, video, such as, you know, if I wanna look into the fixed off side, right? I wanna track my, my keys and cars, I offer a tool for that, so know that that is something you can take advantage of, much like the Clean Store is. Uh, I also offer a recon tool, so once you're using some of this location-based services, why not start knowing how long a car takes in each step of your process, the overall process, get that reporting and all of those different things going on, and still have the ability to track down the key in the car, so some different products that I offer. Uh, if you have questions, comments, concerns, at the end of this video, I'm going to throw up all of my contact info so that you can set up a demo, you can give me a call, you can give me a text, you can shoot me an email. Uh, if you want to get an idea for pricing, we can always set up something in and have a quick conversation, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Other than that, appreciate you tuning in, and later, guys!